day number four of the lockdown, extreme workout number two. Nice and simple for today, we're going to do a big arm workout, it's going to go against the bag, it's going to go against focus smiths, all your opponent's hands, or shadow boxing, so you've got three different options. Once again, you can work against a bag if you've got a bag at home, or you can work against a friend's hands, or focus smiths if he has focus smiths, or you do it by yourself, shadow boxing, that's a fictitious person in front of you, and you can to strike that person. Once again, we're going to work a lot on the arms, the arms, they must not be able to give up, legs can give up in a fight, but the arms have to keep them going. So we're going to work that shoulder, we're going to work the controls, we're going to work the trapezius at the back. Once again, you can try and make it with them, don't give up. So remember this kind of workout, if you do get tired, it's okay to take that rest. Take a five second rest, push for 30 seconds, five second rest, push for 30 seconds. So we've broken it up into three different categories. So we just do our warm up for our arms, then we're going to be working to our combos for our arms, then a little bit of cardio for the arms, and we finish off with that free form. So you learn how to fight, learn how to defend yourself without thinking about it, you just do it. And let's get started. Nice and easy to warm up first, let's go head up and down. And we'll go to the right. Excellent. And a ball. Shame. And on to the left. And low. And big circles. And then draw four to your toes. So very backwards. Now let's roll the hips. And change. And change. And big circles. Let's go side to side now. Let's see for it. Let's see And 
Ganz am Mund und Bengs und Jacks. Ladies and gents, remember you're going to get yourself a set of weights now. If you don't have a set of weights, you can fill up some water bottles, you can get yourself some bricks or whatever you can, or you can do it just with your free hands itself. Nice and simple, you're going to pick up your weights. Just going to go into that fighting stance, so your best leg at the back, your strongest leg at the back, your weakest leg in the front. In that fighting stance, you're going to pick up those weights. Nice and simple from there. All I want is a straight punch from the face and back. From the face and back. You need to repeat that for 20 seconds. Then we're going to do the backhand. Same thing. Out and back. Get that full motion twist from the face and back to the chin. Other hand rests on the chin the whole time. We're just going to go for those 20 seconds. When you're done with those 20 seconds, we're going to do both hands. Just there, nice and simple. Rotate. We do it from the side, same thing. From there, nice and simple. The front hand, we're just going to keep going. That full rotation. You can see that shoulder's covering that chin. And my other hand's covering the chin as well. Back to the face and up. Back to the face and up. From the back hand, same thing. Just that. Full rotation, twist and back. Full rotation, twist and back. And then both hands. So we're going to do front hand, back hand, and then both hands. Nice and easy. Three sets of each, 20 seconds long. We're going to go into push ups for one minute. Nice and simple. Just there on the floor, one minute. Just burn arms. Just there. Nice and easy. We just keep it going. Just going to wake up all the ligaments, wake up all the muscles before we start our class. Okay, right ladies and gents, so after you've now warmed up those arms, you've got the ligaments nice and warm, you've got the muscles nice and warm, you can start our class. So like I said today, a bobbing and weaving arm class, so we're going to work on that bob and weave. Remember your bob and weave in that fighting stance, center on the body, you always look at that opponent, head's going to go down, going to dip, bob to one side, and you're going to weave to the other side. So remember you got that center point, you write that U with your head. So from there, you one direction, and we return the other direction is your bob and your weave. Bob always to the back foot, weave always to the front foot. Doesn't matter what foot you have in front, now my bob is that direction. So I have a different foot in front, and a different foot in the back, nice and simple. So, nice and easy, doesn't matter, bob always first, weave always second. So, you can do this against a bag if you have a bag, or you can do it against someone that's holding their hands, or a pair of focus mitts, it's up to you. So the first one, nice and simple, we're gonna go for the basics from there. Jab, cross, bob it, weave it, one, two, three, four. Again from there, jab, cross, bob it, weave it, one, two, three, four straight punches. See how I rotate on that hip. Again from there, nice and simple. Jab, cross, bob it, weave it, one, two, three, four straight punches. We're going to do a count of 20. I'm not going to count it for you. You count it for yourself. Then you move to the next part of the video. So again, last one. Jab, cross, bob it, weave it. One, two, three, four straight punches. That's it. One. Just to get that fitness, get that cardio in. I try a lot of exercises that you are not going to need a lot of equipment during the lockdown. You're stuck at home, so you don't have a lot of equipment. So we're going to do a thing called a push up around the wall. We do plank around the wall where we sit in that plank position or that push up position, looking at the one arm, the one leg, the other leg, the other leg, all five seconds. Push up around the wall, very similar thing. We're going to go into that push up formation just there. We're going to go down for our push up, nice and simple. And now from there, we do two. We come up, we hold one. We try not to twist those hips. We hold the other. Try not to twist those hips. And then we go one, two, come back. We hold one, and then we hold the other, and then we repeat. You're going to do this for one minute, nice and soft. You just keep it going. Now, if you get tired, no problem. You're allowed to rest. You're allowed to rest all the time. It does happen. Take a five second rest and try to push for 20 seconds. Five second rest, five. Push for 20 seconds. I don't want five second rest 20 times though. I want to do maybe one or two during the one minute run.
Okay, ladies and gents, you finished with that first one, nice and simple. Combo number two now. Nice and easy, still working on that bobbin that weave. That bobbin weave, very nice and easy to get past your opponent, to counter your opponent. We're going to go for that jab, cross, bob it, cross, cross, and that defining sound. Note where the hands are, the hands are protecting the face, part of the workout. Also, keep the hands up. We're going to get that core nice and strong, we're going to get those shoulders and the trapezius nice and strong. So, again, from there, jab, cross, bob it, cross, cross. Back to fighting sounds. If I do it from the side, nice and easy from there. Jab, cross, bob it, cross, cross. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so again from there, nice and simple. We've got the focusness to show what we do against the back or the focusness. Nice and simple. I've got my partner, their hands are up. I'm going to say one, bob, cross, cross. Again from there, two. Two, now we come to our seal jack. Our seal jack, nice and small, very simple. Let's do a jumping jack. Jumping jack just there, nice and easy. Seal jack, a little bit different. Now, seals have flippers, so it's going to work over there, nice and simple. The hands are on it, nice and easy. You're going to push it, one minute. You just keep it going. Stay on the balls of the feet, put one flat foot, and you push it, one minute, just there, nice and easy. Okay, so the next one, nice and simple, same thing, we're just going to the opposite side, we want both sides to look the same, from there nice and simple, jab, cross, we're going to weave it, so remember weave it to the front foot, that allows open for my left hand, jab, jab, back to fighting songs again from there, jab, cross, I weave it, jab, jab, back to fighting songs, the whole time my hands are by my face, they're protecting my chin, I have a nice face, I don't want to lose it. Go to the other side, nice and simple, it's the same side, just from a different angle. Jab, cross, I weave it. Jab, jab, nice and again. Jab, cross, weave it. Jab, jab. Now the problem comes in with the weavers to the left side. If you're right handed, the body's not going to want to go to the left side. Just take a step up. So jab, cross, you see what happens with that foot? I step to the side, jab, jab, back to five sides. Nice and easy. Okay, so we've got our partner again, it's just to demonstrate what you do if someone's holding their hands for you, mitts or um, the bag. So nice and simple from there, jab, cross, and jab, jab. Okay, you see that slight step that you take to the side to help with that weave as you jab, cross it. So jab, cross, step, jab, jab, back to the body. So now your turn. Okay, our next exercise between our combos, nice and simple, you're going to be your plank ups. Plank ups, nice and simple, in that planking uh, position. Nice and simple on the hands, and you're going to lift yourself up onto the hands without using the hips. You use the core to keep the hips straight, and then you use those triceps to burst yourself up. So nice and simple, I'm going to go into that plank position. Nice and easy, just there, hands half there, I'm back, my head above my shoulders, my shoulders above my bum, my bum above my head. From there, we push up, just there, and I go back down. From there again, push up with the head, and back down. Nice and simple.
this next combo, nice and simple. What's going to happen? Still focusing on that bob and weave, nice and easy. From there, jab, cross. I'm going to bob it from my backhand, uppercut, same hand, hook, back to fighting stance. Again, from there, jab, cross. I bob it, uppercut, hook, back to fighting stance. So when I do my uppercut, remember from there, it's at 90 degree angle coming upwards. Same with my hook, it's at 90 degree angle over there, coming cross horizontally to the side of his head. So again from the jab, cross, bob it, uppercut, hook. From the side, let's go, jab, cross, bob it, uppercut, hook. Again nice and fast, jab, cross, bob it, uppercut, hook. Back to five and so. Now ladies and gentlemen, we've got a partner again, from there nice and simple, we're going to jab, cross, we bob it, uppercut, Remember that hook, just lift that elbow up and turn. It must be horizontal to the floor. So again, from there, back to front, bob it, up the cut, hook, back to fighting stunt. Okay, so the next exercise that we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is a push up to crab toe. It sounds a little but it's not. Start with a push up, nice and easy. From there, the important thing is that we go slow. So from there, we're going to do our push up. As from that push up, we twist. Foot that's on the inside swaps weight to the foot that's on the outside. You come up and you touch your tongue. So we go back into that push up, just there. Swap to the other side. My weight goes onto my outside foot, inside foot, touch toe, and back down. And we just repeat it nice and simple. Touch the toe. Back into that push up, swap that weight around, touch that toe. Next combo, from there nice and simple, we've got to go to the weave, which is the opposite side that we did before. Remember, we like both sides looking the same, that means exercising both sides equally. So, from there nice and simple, jab, cross, I weave it. Remember that small little step to help you get space. Uppercut from the front hand, hook from the front hand. You can see how I use that hip to get out. Part of it doesn't come from my shoulder, it comes from my hip and from my core. So, again, from there, jab, cross, I weave it. Uppercut, hook, back to fighting stops. I do it from the other side so you can get a different view. From there, jab, cross, I weave it, uppercut, hook, back to fighting stance. One more time, jab, cross, weave it, uppercut, hook, back to fighting stance. And ladies and gentlemen, it's your partner again, nice and simple from there in the jab, cross. She weaves, oh, she doesn't know what she's doing, so we're going to start again from there, nice and simple. Jab, cross, she weaves, uppercut, She's got to use a little bit more hips so she can generate a little bit of power and step out to the side. So again, jab, cross, I weave it, uppercut, hook, back to fighting stop. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, next one, nice and simple. We're going to do our plank to toe, nice and easy in that plank formation. We're going to do the extended plank. So from there, in that push up position, nice and simple, you're going to come up and just touch your toe. Come up and touch your toe. Touch your toe, nice and soft. You just keep it there. Bring opposite foot to opposite hand the whole time. And you keep that plank position. Just there.
and gents. So, next combo. From that nice and simple, what's going to happen? We're going to jab, cross. We're going to bob it. From that one, two, your third one, you're going to step and miss. I'm turning past my opponent, hands coming up, spinning back first. You see how I rotate from the feet? But I'm not taking steps on the feet when I do it. So again, from the jab, cross, I bob it. One, two, third one, I'm going to step and punch at the same time, cross from myself. Now I pivot on the feet, the hands come up, I turn, spinning back first, and now I'm allowed to turn all the way back. I don't turn while I'm doing the spinning back first, I just use my hips and I'll wind my legs up like an elastic band. So again from there, jab, cross, vomit, one, two, third one, spinning back first. From the other side, let's do it again, jab, cross, vomit. One, two, third one, take that step. I'm turning, spinning back first. A little bit faster now, from there. Jab, cross, bob it. One, two, three, spinning back first. Back to fighting sides. Okay, ladies and gents, so we've got a partner with this one. With this one, be careful of your face. You don't want to get the focus mitt by your face. You don't want to put the bag by your face. You want to stay away from it so that your partner can get that full swing, full motion and rotation. Okay, so from there. Easy. Remember, try not to come down with that spinning back fist, but come horizontally. Oh, horizontally. So, if you cannot do it, you have to turn your head faster so you've got to look at your target before you get it from there. Ladies and gents, our last exercise after our last combo, nice or simple, what's going to happen for our dive bomber. Once again, yes, this is a push up because we're doing those arms, we're focusing on those arms for that session. Nice and simple, we start in that push up position. We can start with the bent legs, just there. So I'm not in that full position with the straight legs, I'm on those bent legs, nice and simple. So what's going to happen? Never pretend that there is an invisible rope. Okay? It's about your shoulder height. You need to go underneath that invisible rope, then you need to come back underneath that invisible rope. Or invisible rope the same way that you can. So, nice and simple from there, the legs are bent, I'm going to go underneath it, stretch that lower back out, hips down to the wall, and then I come back the way I can, and into that up position. Underneath that rope, and then nice and simple, working those shoulders, working that core. Ladies and gents, so we come up to the cardio session now, or the cardio part of your workout that's just a little bit more arms, build up that endurance so that you don't give up, you don't quit, no matter what's in that fighting situation or on the street, you've got that push that you keep on going. The legs can give up, the body can give up, but the arms never give up. So the first set, nice and simple, is going to be straight punches. We just roll those straight punches nice and hard, nice and fast. We're going to go for a one minute round, and you get a 30 second rest. From the anchor.
there, ladies and gentlemen. So the next one, round number two, also one minute, 30 second breather. Nice and simple. After the 30 second breather, you're going to jab, cross, bob, knee, jab, cross, bob, knee, jab, cross, and you keep it going. So if you're against the bag, you do it by yourself. If there's somebody that's holding it up with their hands or with the mitt, you're just going to bob and weave underneath their arms. Okay, let's go. to the last one, one minute, th uh, 30 second rest, nice and simple, you're going to throw your four punches, you're going to go down, you're going to do three push-ups, you're going to go nice and simple again, four punches, three push-ups, you keep that push for one minute, all right? One minute workout, nice and easy. Shadow boxing or bag work, free form or mitt work, and you keep it going nice and easy then. And you fight, and you keep it going. After your minute is complete, you're going to come to the floor for a little bit of stuff. So it's three rounds of one minute, shadow boxing, bag work, all focused work. Okay? After which, each round will be harder, a little bit faster than the previous. Angle for the high note, not a low note. Then we come to the floor for that stuff. your first round of free fall, we're now going to work on to the stomach, nice and simple one minute run, you just push it, once again it's okay to take a rest, not too many rests, take about a five second rest when you're tired, try and push for another 20 seconds as you go, so at least, or at most, 
three five second reps. So the first one, nice and simple, we're going to do jackknife, okay? legs up straight, arms up straight. So it's a little bit different to what we normally do. We do our jackknife, then we do a single leg jackknife, single leg jackknife, jackknife. Now the idea is to try to keep the feet off the floor. If you can't, you can keep them on the floor. You need to lift your shoulders and feet off the floor at the same time and then meet each other halfway. So from there, nice and simple, I'm going to do my jackknife. My jackknife, nice and easy. Then my single leg, my single leg. Jackknife. Then my single leg, single leg. Jackknife. Single leg, single leg.
last little bit of stomach after you last round of free form, then you're done and dusted with this workout for today. You're going to work with that stomach again. We do our Superman. So Superman means relying on that stomach. You're going to stronger the stomach, stronger the punches, stronger your case. Hands up in front. What's going to happen is you're going to extend the back. Knees must come off the floor. Elbows must come off the floor. And you're going to hold there. Nice and simple. Five seconds and relax. And five seconds and relax. So we're going to track the lower back muscles and the stomach muscles and we relax. Our class. We do a little bit of cool down now afterwards. We just work the arms today. So we're just going to cool down those arms nice and simple. Let's take the side of the head first. We do that neck. And change on the side. And back of the head. Front of the head. Chest and change separate arm stretch the calf at the same time. Might as well stretch two muscle groups behind the head. Ceiling, push the hips up at the same time, and relax up, behind the back, same thing, take it over the head, and change on the side, just lean forward, touch the toes, grab the left ankle, Legs, touch the toes. Change. Pull the wrist back. Change direction. Go hand. Change direction. Well, done, ladies and gents, that concludes our second cardio class. For this lockdown, stay tuned for your next one.